Good morning and welcome back to Prince Brass Repairs. In the shop this morning, as you can tell by my the box and my shirt, it's Shire's Day. So here we go. Uh, normally we have the instruments already out and prepared to uh, have you check out. Uh, but today we decided to do a little, something a little different. A little bit of an unboxing as, it, as you will. Um, so right out of the, you know, I'm gonna see this for the first time. Uh, comes very nicely packed. Um, very impressed with that. This is the uh, the model number. It's a Q series trumpet, the 10S model, which is their uh, basically standard model. So uh, I should just stop talking and open the box because I'm about as excited as all you to see this. So let's see what we got here. Like I said, very well packed. Uh, no issues in shipping. All that good stuff. Oh, got part of it. Part. I see a case. Good news. Uh huh. Uh huh. Beautiful case. Uh, it's actually a kind of a big one. It's all in there. Check that out. SC Shire's case. Let's get the box out of the way. And let's see what's inside. Uh, first uh, thing I notice on the outside, um, big pouch. Looks like it can fit. Oh, the more the more you unzip, the more you find. Uh, nice shoulder strap in case you don't want to go. And I believe it has backpack straps. E probably under here, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, two handles, very nicely done. For this is for. It looks like it's almost big enough, if not big enough, for, oh, it has an expandable zipper that you can use for mutes and things. Uh, other pouch for accessories, and funny I mentioned that because there's your Shire's mouthpiece. It has your uh, valve oil, it's tuning slide oil, which is for your first and third, and your tuning slide grease, which is for your main and your second. And then it comes with, it looks like, a nice little cloth. Yep, nice cloth there for uh, keeping your fingerprints and uh, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to move this to the side so we don't end up knocking off the table. And now for the horn itself. Uh, all these zippers and all these Velcro, they're very stiff, so it provides a good, good grip on that. You don't have to worry about the instrument falling out or anything. Oh my, shiny silver. Beautiful looking trumpet, look at this. This is, it looks like, of course, the same quality as their custom series. Um, really, 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 wow. Sorry, I'm usually, I'm usually not speechless, but, um, uh, oh, it has been in the cold, so we do have to probably stick some. Oh, maybe we don't, that's pretty good. Um, Always advisable to put oil on your brand new trumpet to break it in properly. Okay, so let's get into what it is and how it is and all that good stuff. It is a Q-Series, like I said, 10, a standard model. So it compares to other brands out there in their standard, whatever their standard configuration is. Uh, Q-Bell, a, the, the, I, a, looks like their standard uh, bead wire on their, on their bell. Uh, it is a 459 medium large bore as well, um, double braced and based on my own Shire's trumpets. Uh, I these are not the flanged uh, braces, They're, they have the um, braced right onto the uh, tuning slides. So we got that, regular water key, no water key on the third. Um, it does have a slide locking mechanism right there that you can just undo for that just have to remove your little tie there to do that uh what else do we have um going down the horn nickel baluster braces nickel bottom caps the um i'm just i'm just flawed by the uh floored i should say by the uh by the plating it is just so beautifully done um it came by the way i'm gonna turn the case around just so you can see this it came in no wrapping. It just came right in the case. And the case has plenty of room if I put this back in there real quick. Um, it's always good to see how the instrument lays in the case. Um, it has plenty of room if you need to put a mute, 
maybe two in there. Uh, definitely a practice piece of the straight mute, which is most often used. Um, so uh, yeah, this is this horn is beautiful. The valves feel great. Um, everything feels. Um, they put these little pieces of paper in there for the silver. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm going to grab my um, grab my mouthpiece. Um, back to the bell, yellow brass, one piece. Um, that's how a lot of their bells are made in general. Uh, like I said, 459 more Q lead pipe, Q style bell, and um, that's pretty much. Let's check out how well these slide right out of the case. Very well done. Uh, your tuning slide always should be a little stiffer than you than you think, just so you don't have any issues with flying out. Uh, other slides work really well. I'm going to take this off so this could be used. These, these could be used like normal. Uh, oh yeah, this my hands I think is in the way. Very very well done there. Um, and I'm assuming the second slide is not going to have a problem coming out. Maybe a little stiff. But there it is. Um, I think it's also because it's when it arrived in the cold, this the the grease can add it. So this, the, that'll just have to be quickly regreased. No big deal. It works perfectly. Um, so let's see. Uh, I basically buzzed a few notes on the way over to the shop this morning in the car, and we are going to see what happens. I'm going to play a few notes and get uh, get myself uh, situated, and then we'll see how it sounds. Uh, something lyrical something articulated something a little over the horn just so you get a good idea of um what goes on i also I tend to like to loosen my bottom caps uh, a little bit uh, before i play it tends to release some some things there so so there we go uh and uh, let's see what happens <laughs> smooth feels very even um very free to play between the low g and the high g it's basically that covers your first two octaves of the instrument uh, as i get warmed up here i'll be able to explore a little higher um feels great valves feel valves feel very good i mean they're um they are monel pistons which is pretty much the standard in the industry um and uh, everything looks good uh plastic valve guides no big deal there. Uh, just that's another standard. Um, just something I noticed in the feel there. And uh, let's play something else here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> responds very well to the um to tonguing you know if there's no encumbrance in, in the blow resistance is right on um again i apologize for a few muff notes it's early um these are the, my first notes of the day so what better way to get a good impression of an instrument with basically raw unedited uh footage so um so far so good i like the sound i like the feel uh, let's see what else it can do. Uh, let's play a couple, a lyrical thing or two here just to get a melody or something. Very smooth, easily. I could play that in church and not have a, or a, a you know, religious setting and not have a problem playing that piece of music. So uh, let's see what else we got. I only have one mouthpiece today, just to get an overall sense of, uh, most people that would probably play this horn would probably be only playing one mouthpiece. And uh, so let's, uh, let's see what else we have here.
the articulation at those louder volumes, which is um, which is really impressive. Um, let's see what else. Um, yet that I just uh, the reason why I played that excerpt because of the slight little change of key there the intonation from a low to high and the different valve combinations and different things like that really um, really spot on so that's another uh, positive quality that um, frankly I wouldn't um, expect any less from a Shire's product because all their instruments are great so um, I pretty much think that's all that we can do with this. That's, uh, again, all the information, 459, Q-Taper, yellow brass, one-piece bell with that rounded um, brass bell bead. Uh, looks like a standard tuning slide, regular water key, nothing here, slide lock here. Um, a Q lead pipe, a heavyweight lead pipe, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Monel valves, plastic guides, Great playing horn. If you're interested, Prince Brass has them in stock. BrassRepairs.net. Find us on Facebook. Find us on Instagram. We're out there in the world. And um, come uh, come visit us in any way. Just send an inquiry in, in any manner you wish. And uh, we'll have this here waiting and ready for you to try out. So uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching.